Okay, so you guys can position yourselves wherever you want to be on this map. Obviously, the camp is to the west. So do we want to be on the other end of the map? Well, if they're going to be marching from the west, you probably want to be positioned to see them coming, as opposed to on the edge of the map as they suddenly pop on. Oh, right. West, you said. Yeah. Yeah, if you're attacking the west side of the camp, they're going to be coming from the east. Where are... Okay, we're all directionally lost. Okay, they're coming from the yeah, east because they're heading west. Yeah, I put you at the west end because they're going to be coming from the west, which on this map is east, because their camp is to the west of here. You wanted to attack the west side of the camp. This is where you attacked them the last time when you had a... They had a big force and then you realized oh shit that's too many they're going after unicorns okay yeah so they're coming from the right side so i'm gonna go here okay Okay, is everyone where they want to be? Yes. Yes. What the fuck is going on? For some reason, it's doing that um, thing where when I look at the light, it won't show me the light. It opens up the menu bar or the the address bar. Uh -huh. Okay, hang on. I'm just going to reset. I, I actually thought I had a reason that that was screwing up, but I'm going to reload and see if it changes. Yeah, it won't show me light. When you say light, you mean like the... The dynamic light. Maybe I don't have the dynamic lighting turned on. That was what it was. Uh... Nope, dynamic lighting's on. It's off. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, I turned it off so I could turn it back on. Oh, I have my cap locks on. That might be it. That's what it is. I must have just uh accidentally tapped the cap locks and apparently that put you on the address bar instead okay so chuck can see nothing i like the old version of dynamic lighting where you could click on the character turn on the the light and then click on each character and it would change the perspective to that character for some reason they took out that feature so now you have to click on a token, then click away from it, and click on the next, and control all it again. Oh, Mim yeah. can see everything. Artemis can see nothing.
and Kilo can see a little bit. So you want to roll a perception check for Nim and Kilo. Kilo, you are at minus 13, which means you see nothing. And apparently Nim sees nothing as well. Oh, yeah, if, uh, 16 will be good enough. And now roll 20 won't let me select things. Solid start. Yeah. Uh, no, I was just wasn't on the GM layer, so I couldn't select them. But the first time I did it, it wouldn't select because I was on the uh, ruler. And the second time I did it, it wouldn't select because I hit the pointer, but it didn't switch from ruler. And then I finally hit the pointer and then realized I was on the wrong layer. Okay, so Nim is close enough to... Um, Artemis, I'm guessing. His telepathy is 60 feet, right? Yeah. Oh, he's close enough to Chuck, too. But not Kilo. Okay, so uh, Nim tells you there are hobgoblins coming down the trail. Mm. I'll signal to Kylo about that as well. What is the best... I think he would wait is the best way to do it. At least until Kylo's in a better spot charge-wise. Okay. Kyla's movement is 40. Yes. Okay, so you can easily get there then. Okay. Okay, so what is your plan? I think once they get like 15 feet closer, uh, Nim's going to move with the flyby to breathe around the back three and then leave to start the fight. Okay. Cool. Should I roll the stealth or to... Try and do this without provoking. Uh, most definitely, if you want to do it without provoking. I appreciate it. This counts as a temperate forest. Counts as a what? As a temperate forest for the buff to stealth that Nim has. Oh, yes, yes. This is his home. <laughs> I'm looking that fuck that. Okay, uh, Sergeant is plus five. Oh, okay. Nice. With the luck, that is... If I could 
read this properly. Uh, 25. Oh, nice. Okay. So you manage to out-stealth the hobgoblins, so you can uh, move up and do your breath weapon. Okay. Oh, I didn't see there's more. Well, I misspoke, but he's sticking with the original plan. It's going to be these, the sergeant and the two warriors, and then he's leaving. Okay, sergeant is plus four. DC is 12. <laughs> DC is less than 23. Yeah. And the warriors are plus one. They are not successful. Nice. Okay, you uh, want to put him back where he was? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I guess they would provoke leaving. Uh, no, they are surprised. Um, but as he moves up, he has an even clearer line of sight of everything that's here. Oh, fair. Oh, we're in trouble. Why? Because there's a lieutenant and three commanders and a bunch of warriors? Yeah. <laughs> that would be why. Looks like a lot like another uh, unicorn hunting party. Yep. Uh, I'm just going to mark those real quick. As Nim's going to say, we've got another huge rave going on in the telepathy, which I think Kylo's now close for. Okay, well, what are you doing? I'm going to finish that exit stage north. Okay, no, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure that before yeah, you attacked, no. Nim had an opportunity to look at everything in the situation. Yeah, no, I did not look. I just moved and bam, and yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Nim's going to tell everyone that uh, it's a huge group. Lots of hobgoblins to kill. More than he has uh, claws. So is that a yay or a nay for the raid? We can probably do what we did last time, try and head him off. It's going to take him at least half a minute to deal with their fallen people. Assuming they care enough to deal with that. Well, the two that you knocked out are out for six rounds, so they're just gone. Yeah, I was just thinking the rest of the group might wait for them to wake up or deal with that before, instead of chasing us immediately. So we have time to try and look for the unicorns if we deal with that. Well, six rounds is less than a minute, but yeah. They are quite familiar with the uh, pseudo dragons uh, tactics, so this isn't the first time they've encountered Nim or one of his kin. Fair. So they know the gas wears off fairly quickly, and then they're free to go. And that's not a will save; that's a fortitude save. I always forget about that because it's the gas. Oh, I'll change on document two. Okay. Well, you guys need to make a decision what you're going to do. Um, the hobgoblins will move up into a defensive position. Seeing them go north, these guys in the back will also move north.
So the back ranks uh, file out a bit. Front ranks will move out. And they will start searching for Nim and his uh, companions. So you guys can give me a stealth check. And I don't think Chuck can see anything. You are correct. Perfectly concealed behind the bush, except he's got one leg sticking out. So Kilo, you can see them moving up and uh, fanning out. So I'll give you guys an action to determine what you're going to do. Um, you don't really have any info at this point. I'm going to roll a perception check for uh, Nim. Hang on. He says, they're pointing right at me. I think they see me. Oh. Um, Artemis is still in the favor of just leaving. If we know they're looking for unicorns and they've probably found one, you probably need to get to it first. I'm following your lead. Cool. Because you're the leader. <laughs> uh, I'm then, just yeah. a dumb barbarian. Uh, at that point, then yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just leave this way. Okay, go where you're going. Oh, just actually move? Okay. Well, I guess we'd have to go half speed, so double move here. And then what double move? Here. Find that tree. And that's that turn. Okay, good. Kilo, what are you doing? I'll try to stealth away. Yeah, runaway is a good tactic for this one. Kilo's line of sight just changed. Okay, Chuck, what are you doing? All right, seeing that uh, they're leaving, I will also leave. Uh, 
Though apparently I got myself stuck in a tree. Yeah, the dynamic lighting, you can't cross those barriers, and I put X's in the tree, so if you go into the square, you're caught on the line, and once you touch the lines, you can't move past them. The computer will snap you to the grid, and if there's a line there, then you can't unsnap. But that would be 40 feet from where I started, so... Okay. Well, then they will begin to move towards your previous hiding spot. Okay, and then the rest of them will just move up around the sleeping guys. And then it's your go. <laughs> I mean, I'm fairly confident to get out. How do you guys feel? I'm relatively certain I can outrun him, but I don't know how my stealth out of here is going to go. Um, You're so lucky because nobody had line of sight to the lieutenant um, other than Nim, and he pointed basically right at Nim because Nim was hiding in the tree within line of sight of the lieutenant pointing at Chuck, who rolled an eight for his hijack. <laughs> so <laughs> Nim thought they were coming at him, and they were actually going after uh, Chuck. So he panicked, and then Chuck rolled an amazing high, or moved silently and moved out from behind the tree, and they all went to the tree that they were told to go to, and he wasn't there. So, yeah, I guess... I get. I think Artemis would delay uh, until Chuck did whatever he did. Um, then we'll go from there. I think is the best thing. So you're gonna let me go first? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Just keep in mind when you double move, you have to make two stealth checks. Copy that. So as soon as they notice him, he's just going to start booking it through the woods. Okay, roll a perception check. Okay, the sergeant directly south of you. Uh, he has his longbow out, and he's scanning, and he sees you. Um, I think we're going to move to initiative, and he calls out to everyone. Shh. 
shit meat fan. And just for purely mapping reasons, I'm going to grab everyone and push them back a bit. There you go. So now you got lots of room to run. Ooh, nice initiative too. Chuck? Yes. Chuck full of holes. Okay, well the uh, sergeant is like point blank on you as you break from the tree, so he takes a shot at you. Twenty eight and sixteen. I assume sixteen is a miss. Correct. Good thing we got the new armor. Nails you for ten points. And then this hobgoblin will move up to melee you. As soon as I get back on token layer. Missing horribly. And then the rest of them, actually this hobgoblin right here, back here might have line of sight too. Yes, he does. So he'll take two shots at you as well. Ooh, a pair of 23s. That's pretty nice. Eleven and eleven. Chuck might be out of this. Okay, uh, then. For whatever reason, Chuck, your initiative didn't come up in the theater. My initiative never goes in. Uh, oh. I was waiting for the window to show up. Oh, I put the window in. I saw you rolled a seven, so you were at the bottom, so it didn't matter. And uh, then I looked at it, and there's only three people in the initiative. Okay, Artemis, you're up. Um... That is a good question here. Um, let's Nim, I think, would need to break and go after the warrior that just attacked. Like so, I think. Uh, missing horrendously. Okay. Um, do I? Yeah, we got to. Did you um, roll for your breath weapon? I did not. Be awesome if you could breathe on someone. It would, which I wouldn't have got until after this round, anyway. No, okay. that's true. It's always a minimum of one. Yeah. Um, and then I think I do need to rapid shot. Chuck can hide behind the tree, so we need to get rid of the closer hot goblin. Yep, 
you think after all this time I would make an acid splash macro, but why would I really? You always spell rat wrong. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna fire for it for no good reason. Um, and that's the turn. Back the fuck up. Yep. If you can just take that potion while you leave, Chuck, that'd be appreciated. I'm kidding. Don't do that. Well, they're faith healing potions, so they don't help you. Yeah, but they're the most valuable thing they have that we could take. Fair enough. Okay, then we are on to Kilo. What are you doing, Kilo? You said we're running, right? Or are we fighting? Well, Chuck's about to die, so if you run now, he's almost certainly dead. You don't see it, but Chuck has four hit points, so that's why Artemis fired. You probably heard the slump of one of the warriors, um, but yeah. I charged the guy to the south. Unfortunately, where I was at, I couldn't see anything but the guy to the south. Maybe I can make a new target. You can charge the guy to the south if you want. You really do terrible damage. I know. You should have raged before you came out. And if I had more time, I was going to drink a strength potion and rage. Well, you could have raged because that's a free action. You could have drank a strength potion as a move action and then charged as a standard action. Uh, I should have done that. Yep. Yeah. Chuck, you're up. Don't be a hero. That wasn't my plan. My plan was to run like a bitch. And then minor heal. Keep in mind you took a pile of damages, Ram. The highest one was seven. Um yeah, you took two D Two, six plus. I think 11s were the highest ones. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why there's three damages in there because I only hit you twice. So an 8 and then the, there were, 11. Yeah. No, I got attacked, what, by the sar both sergeants? Yeah, but the, the first double attack... With 28 hit you for 10 points. And then the Hobgoblin lunged with the 9 and missed. And then another double attack was a pair of 23s, but there's three sets of damage below that. It should be 8 and 11, not 8, 11, and 11. I don't know where the other attack, there's no other attack rolled. Did you put both of those 11s on you? Yeah. Because both of those 11s were from the sergeant, the, the second sergeant, when he hit me. Oh, maybe I hit the... I don't know. Whatever. I don't know what the 8 was then. Maybe I just misclicked that when I was rolling. Okay, so Chuck has gone. So we are back to initiative.
Okay, Artemis, you're up first. Um. I meant to ask you guys how late we're going to go tonight. Um, I don't open tomorrow, so I'm good. Both arrows against the one Kylo's fighting. Interesting choice. We just need to get out of here, so... Yeah. Uh, they are evil, so that does hit... And five foot behind this tree. Uh, which way would give me the best cover? I think here. Uh, nope, there's another. Well, I'm fine with just one sergeant. Um, and Nim. Actually, Nim might try and. No, they're not. Not any good targets. Nim's gonna hide behind this tree. Okay. Kilo, you're up. So we're running for it? Yeah, Chuck's gone pretty far away and is behind a tree. Um, I think hit and run's our best bet. If you want to go for another one, by all means, but if we can keep retreating as we fight, that's, that's the ideal, or just retreat. I'm either running or I'm fighting. I would run. Says the guy who's taking two five-foot steps. All right. Okay, then we are on to the hobgoblins. So he'll move around the tree so he can get a shot at Artemis. Wait, but okay. Ooh. Those aren't hits, are they? Uh, 20 would hit. Oh, it is. Okay. So he sticks you for 10 points, and then the sergeant to the south will five foot up and attack. Blam, blam. 11 points from the second arrow. He'll move up to attack you, plus two for not having a melee weapon. Missing horribly. He'll just move closer. This other sergeant wants to get into the fight, but I don't think he can see anyone. Oh, we can see Kilo. It's a perfect line of sight to Kilo. So he'll take a shot at Kilo from behind. 26. That'll be hit. Plunk. Another 10 points. And I think that's everyone who can attack at this point. Yep, that's it. Okay, then we're into Chuck. Uh, I will be running. Okay. 
You don't want to heal before you run? I'll heal at the end of the run. That's fair. Would be a shame if you walked past a hobgoblin that is hidden and sneak attacks you as you're going by. Then another 20 feet after that, then a minor heal. Well, Artemis, I hope you can get away. We will find out. Okay, that's the extra 20 feet for Chuck, and that puts us right at the edge of the map. So this is the absolute maximum range we can go. So let's roll initiative. Let's see where we are at the end of this. 